we join the master of clay at his high performance academy in Mallorca, Spain. Rafa Nadal is considered one of the greatest players in tennis history, having won 14 Grand Slam singles titles, 45 ATP World Tour events, and two Olympic gold medals, to name just a few of his achievements over his astounding 15-year professional career. With his place in the Tennis Hall of Fame firmly cemented, Nadal and his head coach, his uncle Tony Nadal, decided to invest in the next generation of tennis players by transforming the training base in his hometown of Manacor, Mallorca, into a state-of-the-art high-performance academy. After two years of construction, the Rafa Nadal Academy by Movie Star finally opened its doors in June 2016 and was officially inaugurated this October. It's a dream come true, it's finished, you know, it's uh, everything uh, done in terms of construction, in terms of facilities, uh, in terms of creating the, the team. And now is the moment to put all of our knowledge, of our passion and uh, try uh, as hard as possible to, to, to make of this center uh, a very special place. It was Rafael's idea to stay connected with the world of tennis when he retires. We created the academy with the idea to give the kids that want to come here the opportunity to try to be great tennis players without their studies suffering and to understand what's important for their progression. We know it's not easy to reach the professional level and that's why we pay a lot of attention to their development. Our main goal is try to help them to become uh, as good as possible and try to bring the level of tennis of the kids to the next step. But at the same time, we know that uh, most of them who are coming here, they don't gonna, don't gonna make it, no? So we need to prepare them for the future. We need to prepare them for the, for the real life. The impressive facility spans over 24,000 square meters in the Mallorcan town of Manacor. In the academy, we have rooms for 140 children to stay here. In the same building, there's also a school. We have 18 hard courts and seven clay courts, plus an indoor court. There's also a gym that's very well equipped with the latest high-tech machines. And there's also a 25-meter indoor swimming pool. The academy has its own unique training program, based on the experience acquired by Nadal and his technical team during his years on the ATP circuit. In a daily program, we have four hours of activity, three hours of tennis, one hour of fitness. Then we, they study either in the morning or in the afternoon, and then the other half day, they are available for practice. Our job is try to teach the players in the best possible way, in tennis or in fitness or in mental as well with our psychologists. We are known, Spain and Rafael, of course, is known by clay courts, clay court specialists, but as well we think that the tennis world is going into hard courts. So that's why we are prepared in both surfaces. On each surface you can develop some abilities better than in the other surface, so we try to combine those uh, trainings in both surfaces. Nutrition is another crucial part of the students' daily routine. We have children from different ages. We have from 12 to 18 right now, and they are growing so fast, so nutrition is very, very important. We have to make sure that they have all the nutrients, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, in order to avoid injuries and to have high performance, and also to develop right. Well, they have three main meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and also they have two snacks. I individualize each diet because each children is different. Here we have 25 different nationalities, so each one has a specific diet. The values of Rafael, we try to implement them here, inside the court and outside the court as well, inside the court in terms of uh, effort, intensity, uh, positiveness, and also outside the court uh, in terms of humility or, or respect, respect for the, the material, the opponents, the, the, the crowd. So we try to implement those in the daily routines as well. The only thing that we ask to the kids is to give the best every time that they are on court. I always say the same, no? when you are trying your best, when you are giving your best in every moment, you cannot ask for more. 
The best victory possible is the, the personal satisfaction. No? You need to be satisfied with, with yourself and the only way to be satisfied with yourself is give your best in every moment and, uh, and to work the right way. No? And that's the, that's the goal that we have here and that's the only thing that we ask the kids.